Welcome to Carcass City Misery and Arrow in Your Head Stadium. The only field in the NFL built on an ancient and sacred burial ground. <laughs> Way to go, guys. Is that why they can never win a playoff game here, Gwen? No, Bricks. It's why they have so many skeletons in the stand. They just keep rising out of the dirt during games. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Diami Krakens take on the Carcass City Creeps. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I was here on the now. You know what happened? Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim. I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Pulled a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. And he just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting or dead or worse. Well, Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. The quarterback passes the ball, and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. And now comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Nine, nine, one. about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. My parole officer calls. I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Hey. This guy's a brick shithouse. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hey. Wrestles away from that tackle. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. The defenders want to be just contained. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the 
the kicker. My turn on the right, it wasn't a broad. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy, and that's what you're after. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. That's a catch for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. <laughs> Third and four. seven yards on that run. It wasn't 
licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. He is fighting for every yard. Great shoestring tackle. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. Now the defense called a time warp dirty trick, negating that play completely. The offense is pissed. Well, I wish I had that trick in the elevator with me earlier. I let one rip. I made a really good one, Grim. And then the doors open and the team's cheerleaders get on. <laughs> That's when small talk is really put to the test. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points and let's move on. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Finally. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And he just <laughs> slipped away like a Greek. Man, what a hit that was. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? Third and two. First and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. One, hot two, hot, hot three. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I'd love to find a ball, Daddy. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third down and long. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. Guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. Second down in a very lot. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond.
And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. You are dirty as a butt of your time. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one. Hey. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That'd be fantastic. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? First down and five. That's a pass and catch for no game. Then how is it a pass? Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. That's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot one in for the first down. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. He picks up five on that play. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Second down and five. Hot, hot one. Hot. And that pass is good for about five yards. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up in the crack of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Now, there are some who 
would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called... The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to made it the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stumping time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Second down and all. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's the quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. First down and one, and that'll be their final timeout. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And a score! Hey man, nobody can touch me with that ball. I take all you mutants out of here. Right. Hey. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! The kicker died on that play. And that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up for the second-half kickoff. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Point. And a well-placed cleat. 
First down and nine. Hot one, hot two. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, man, he really won. It looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Second down and nine. Hot, hot one. Warming up. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> well, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. He picks up a two. Second and eight to go. And that pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. Third and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. It's a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Man, what a hit that was. Second and three. Hot. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly and it's first and ten hey. second down in a very lot Third down and, well, good luck. And then catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're If you don't kill this ref with the attack ref dirty trick, you're going to lose, pal. You kind of deserve it if you're this damn scrim. Third down and never get and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. <laughs> Third down and forever. Hot one, hot two.
And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. a vicious hit. There might not be an eye in team, but this guy's eyeballs are all over the other team's helmets right now. <laughs> Third and four. Running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. I'd love and he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot three. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot two, three. He refuses to go down. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Third down and three. That pass play was good for three yards. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. It's all about who can control the line of scrimmage on these short yardage fourth down plays. Usually it's the guy with the biggest butt. And they run it up the gut for a first down. That's a gutsy play. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. They need to make him a target more often. First down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. That's a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas.
Second down and five. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Third and four. a killer it was right there and then he dropped it ah oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league if they don't pick it up here they are giving a gift to the defense and he catches it for a touchdown what a beautiful play yeah it's on those power and like a haiku hey man how scared on Silla I like this. They're going for two. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. And the defense stops him cold. That play just got blown to hell. Yeah, it got blown to shit. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. Hello now. They all have. And it's first and ten. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. Hey, that defender just got... Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Third down and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Three. How do you like 
your defense is cooked. The ball carrier is saying, well done. Bang, baby, bang. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Excessive celebrations. Well, you can try to deport him if you want to, Junior. I personally don't want to be fed with 47,000 children. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. And that'll be second down and four. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. <laughs> and with one timeout remaining, the defense has to get something going here. Third down and nine. for Mutant Tartar. The offense is running low on blockers. They have only two left. If they lose another, it's game over. And that's their last timeout. The defense can't bend or break. They've got to get a stop here. And it's first and ten. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Cork is sitting creepy. 
Grapes walk away victors today. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it? Scram those tomato soup. Wounds. Mm-mm, good. The MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.